Well, welcome back. And now it's time for the mix. I want you to meet Kuru. He's a Pomeranian right. who's been told you can't eat fruit. He just can't, but he's <laughs> desperate, <laughs> desperately trying to sneak a oh. peek at his owner eating fruit, but fails miserably. Look at it, the back and forth. I'm going to get a peek. I'm going to get a peek. No. I'm going to get a peek. I'm going to get a peek. Was he trained or is he, he's just. He, he, he can't eat fruit, oh but he, he desperately wants to see his owner eat it. But every time he tries to put it in his mouth, look at it, look at it. Nope. That is great stuff. That's <laughs> very, very funny. I mean, watermelon does have that kind of impact on, on animals, I'm sure. Uh, so at this hour, if the boyfriend pillow isn't working out, but you still are in the need of maybe some human interaction, but you don't want that much interaction, wink, wink. Mom, I know you're watching, so I'm not going to go into details. <laughs> there is an app called The Cuddler, much like Tinder, what? where you can make connections online with total strangers. The Cuddler is out there for those that just want a, a nice, warm, very platonic embrace. You basically go online, you set up a profile, you can then make a cuddle request from what? others that are in your area, in your geographically nearby uh, Wait a minute. cuddle location. So what if that cuddler gets wants a little bit more than just a cuddle? Well, what do you do what, at that point? Well, then I think you switch over to a different app. Then I think. <laughs> what app is that? <laughs> you, have to, you have to upgrade to the premium <laughs> version of that. Yeah, apparently this, this guy in Chicago built this whole thing because of the fact that he was feeling lonely. So there it is. And you can see the results right there. Totally platonic. Sometimes just a little human interaction is all you need. I don't know, Dan. No. No. I don't New know. York City? I, yeah. You kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even like making eye contact with people. So I don't think this is going to be for me. Do you like Batman? Who doesn't love Batman? Yeah. Well, in uh, Calgary, in Canada, one company set a world record for Superman, uh, sorry, a Batman gathering. Look at all these people, Whoa. these employees, 542 people. It's called From Suits to Superheroes. And it was all part of a United Way campaign to help fight poverty, help kids thrive and build uh, strong communities. They all took up their suits and put on a Batman suit. Very cool. Very nice. Yeah. All for a very good cause. And obviously they're now Guinness World Record holders. Yeah, and apparently they set a record in 2011 for the dressing up as Superman. Biggest oh, gathering of Superman. Oh, very ambitious. <laughs> and, and the one lone Robin is standing out there. Okay, so we know that obviously when you're taking trips with the kids, yeah. it can be a little difficult to keep them entertained. Parents oftentimes like to sing along in, in the car with them. Yeah. Here are the most popular songs. Let It Go by the okay. film Frozen, of course. Happy by Pharrell Williams, Wheels yeah. on the Bus, and yes. War by Katy Perry. Why? Because a musical psychologist has realized that all those songs use a four chord progression. So there's a secret to this for why we have earworms.